Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I actually have a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing currently. It is a talk through tutorial and I have been loving this look recently. This is like a vampy fall makeup look as you can probably tell from the title down there. Um, but yeah, this look mostly focuses on the wings and the lips. Because those two things scream fall to me. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, then go ahead and keep watching. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The lighting is super weird. I think it's supposed to rain, but I'm not sure. I already have my brows done and I carved them out too. At least I attempted. And for that, I use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Blonde, and to cover them out, I just use the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. And I just have moisturizer on my skin, and a little bit of the Bite Beauty Lip Agave Mask. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to actually start with the eyes today. To start, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyeshadow Primer just to prime my eyelids. And now I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of the Fit Me Concealer and apply that onto my eyelids and blend it out so that we cancel out any darkness. To set that, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder on a e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just going to be taking just a little bit and applying that. For eyeshadows, we're only going to be using one today, and it's from this palette right here, which is the Hard Candy Top 10 Eyeshadow Collection in the shade Pinking of You, and we're going to be taking this white like shimmery color. If you guys have the palette, if you got a 17 subscription, if you have that palette, the white in it works amazingly and it's like more of a matte. If you know of any good drugstore matte white shadows, let me know in the comments down below, but I'm just going to be taking the Eco Tools blend brush and apply that all over my lid, all over my eye actually, from the lash line up to the brow bone. Here comes the sun! There's the eyeshadow all done. We're not going to be using any transition shades. This is pretty much the eyeshadow look. Now for the eyeliner, we're going to be using two different ones. First one is the this e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen in the shade Black. And the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio. It's just a felt tip liner in the shade black and we're going to be creating a wing and to do that we're going to be taking some washi tape or you can use any type of tape and I'm just going to apply this I'm going to just add this from like underneath my eye to the outer corner up to the end of my brow And we're going to do that with both sides. I look really crazy right now, but this will help get a super precise wing. We're going to come closer. I'm going to first start off with the e.l.f. eyeliner. And I'm just going to go from, I'm going to, the tip of the wing is going to be like right at my crease. And then we're just going to draw a line uh, to the lash line. I kind of have to get close to the mirror. And it's okay if you go on the tape because when you pull it off, it'll create a clean line. Now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline one. I'm just going to like fill it in. And we're going to take it all over. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm going to be taking this black eyeshadow in the shade Double Dare Me. This is from Jam Cosmetics. And I'm going to be taking an angled brush and I'm just going to be setting that so the wing lasts all day. And again, it's okay to go on the tape because this tape will help create a clean line. Got to get the eyeliner on fleek. And then I just take a little bit of the black shadow and I use it to tight line. This looks super weird, but I'm just going to go with it. And there's one wing, and so I'm going to do the other wing off camera. So I have pulled off the pieces of tape, and wing liner, done. And it's super easy. Now we're going to add um, some mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, and we're just going to apply mascara. You could add falsies from here. I currently don't have any lash glue, so I'm not going to be doing that. But now I'm going to move on to the face. And to start off, we're going to be taking the Benefit, the Professional. And we're going to apply this mostly in the T-zone where I get, um, or just wherever you get the most pores or where pores are visible, I should say. And if you don't want to spend the money on this, go ahead and go for the um, Maybelline Baby Skin, because that stuff is, like, I want, is, to me, better than the professional, in my opinion. And now I'm going to be going in with a second primer, and this is the Neutrogena Shine Control, and I have not used this in quite a while. So I'm going to just use it today. So with this makeup look, I want a matte skin. Now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and apply that underneath my eyes. I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Now for foundation, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And this is my, like, holy grail foundation currently. This is in the shade Classic Ivory. to apply that to the cheeks first. And again, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, and this is a new one. My foundation is all on. And I think I'm going to do some highlighting, but with concealer. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm going to be taking my Hard Candy Glamour Flash Concealer in the shade Ultra Light. This stuff a little goes a long way. I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I'm not going to use the baking or cooking technique, whatever you guys would like to whatever you guys prefer to call it. I'm going to be taking again my Elf High Definition Powder, and I'm just going to set the under eye. Anywhere where we put the lighter concealer. Now we wait. 
still not quite like that, so I'm going to watch some YouTube. And I'll be right back. So this will, I'm going to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. So this powder has been setting for about 10 minutes. And now I'm going to be first taking my e.l.f. blush brush and brushing away the under eye powder. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking the Fit Me powder in the shade Classic Ivory. It's the matte and poreless one. And I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to use that to blend everything in because this powder can make me look a little paler and we kind of want a little color so just taking the powder on this brush and then dusting it all over my face since my face is looking a little too light for my liking Right now, I'm going to be taking the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, it's sunny, and this, and my bronzer brush, and I'm just going to bronze up my face just a little bit, not too much, because this look isn't really for bronzing, it's more, like, bold, subtle eyes. and bold lips. There we go. That looks better and again I'm just going to take my e.l.f. complexion brush blend it even more. Now to finish out the eyes I'm going to be taking the Jam Cosmetics eyeshadow in Elegant Me and a flat shader brush and I'm just going to apply that closely to the lower lash line. I'm not going to do anything like too dark like a bronzer or something, just something like a peach color. Now we're going to add some bottom lash mascara and for that I'm going to be taking the NYC Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara and apply some to the lower lashes. Okay. Now I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Fergie Collection uh, Shimmer Palette in the shade Golden Rose Golden Goddess and I'm going to be using my blush brush to apply this as like a blush because there's no highlighting effect whatsoever to it for me. On top of that, I'm going to be taking this Jam Cosmetics blush in the shade Superstar and apply that just right over to give a little more intensity. And it's pigmented, so. Now that all that's left is the lips. So for that, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Clear Lip Liner and just line my lips. And now for the star of the show, it's the lipstick. And this is an NYC lipstick that I think is like around a dollar or two. It's super inexpensive and it's amazing. And this is in the shade Mahogany and it is deep. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and apply this to my lips. Like a lipstick. And to fix up and clean up the edges to make them more feminine, I'm just going to take this brush. You can use a lip brush, um, but I'm just going to clean up the edges with more lipstick and this brush. I'm now going to take a tissue and I'm going to pull it apart. So it's just, this is a two layer tissue, we just want one layer. And I'm going to just break this 
we'll turn this into quarters. Well, best as I can. And, and, hmm. What I was going to say is that we just put this over our lips and then we dust translucent powder. I'm just using the e.l.f. one. And I just did that. And now I'm going to just do it without the tissue. And now I'm going to add more lipstick. And this technique, if you do with any lipstick, will actually make it last forever. Like, I did this technique last night. And I was gone for like two or three hours. Somewhere around there. Like, I had it on for like four hours somewhere around there and I was eating and drinking and it faded just a little bit but it was still on so now I'm just gonna add more lipstick right on top now a tip that I told you before if you don't want to get lipstick on your teeth take your finger All that lipstick would have gotten on your teeth. So that was the look. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any other video requests, leave them in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. And also, this was the look that I was wearing in my collective haul. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll have it linked down below. Anyways, bye.